Good morning, everybody. Today is day 11 of the perfect sleep challenge. And oh, carbs make you fat. Carbs make you fat. Said no high carb, low fat vegan ever. <laughs> Um, I went to bed yesterday at uh, 9, um, I didn't fall asleep till later on in the day, um, um, later on um, I was kind of like lying like this and uh, what, so what, I, what I've decided to do now is just to read, just to use books to, as a way to sedate me, um, um, so that's what I did, I picked up, <laughs> I picked up this book by Neil Bernard, <laughs> I started reading it, got 10 pages in and I was like, whoa! <laughs> It was really interesting read and I'm actually going to make a video about it um, uh, to all my diabetics out there. Um, you need to hear this information. It's life-changing information. Um, I see people, I, I've, I've came across people who are literally losing limbs and um, uh, they don't know about this information. It could change their life. But anyway, let's get started on the day. As cold as ice, living in paradise. Uh. Uh, uh, just found out that's only 750 mils. Gotta drink more. Uh, day four with my number one yoga bay, Adriana. Adriana. Smoothie time, smoothie time, just got some dates in there with some water. So, so I want to see you guys do a smoothie, a smoothie dance. <laughs> I just wanted to make a note that uh, yesterday uh, I had a, f a smoothie for breakfast, smoothie for lunch, and then I had a rice and bean meal uh, for dinner. And uh, throughout the whole day, I felt incredibly light, incredibly light, like a butterfly, like a butterfly <laughs> floating around. And um, uh, today I woke up and I was, I just felt so, I just felt leaner. I just felt leaner. So today I'm just gonna do the same thing and uh, see how it goes again. Ah. Now it is time to go running. Running. Wow, who doesn't like running? <laughs> you have to remember that if you want to be successful in uh, your diet, in your diet and exercise, your journey to be healthy and fit, you have to be consistent. This is something everybody struggles with. And uh, the voice in your head will be like, don't do anything. You have to kick that voice in the face. Get out there, move your body, and do what you can. If it's a walk, it's a walk. If it's a push up, it's a push up. If it's going for a run, do it. Just get it done. Let me show you guys one of my favorite places to come to without fast running. It's this massive long strip. I feel like I'm in a movie or something like that. Super cool. <laughs> the beauty of nature, it's all around us. Love, love, love nature. Would you take a million pounds for both your eyes? Would you take a billion pounds for both your eyes? A billion dollars, whatever, for both your eyes. Chances are, if you're sane, you wouldn't. You see, the greatest blessings in life are things that we take for granted on the daily. Eyesight, you know, friends, water, food, all the things, you know, that money can't buy. So, 
reevaluate your life and uh, see if you can't come to a place of gratitude for the simple things. I mean, we're all gonna end up, you know, here sooner or later in this life. So, why speed it up? When we can have a great quality of living, great health, great relationships, but in particular, since this channel is a lot, uh, focused on a lot by health, great health, eating whole food, plant-based foods, you know, we don't have to, we don't have to hurt anybody. No animal has to die for us to be healthy and fit and enjoy great tasting foods. It's a perspective change walking through a cemetery, man. I mean, we're living longer, but with more debilitating diseases, more cancers, more, more heart disease, more diabetes, more strokes, greater, greater, greater increase in obesity, children with obesity, children getting diseases they would have never have gotten that young years ago. And animals are dying by the billions. It's just an endless cycle of pain. So choose, choose a more sustainable lifestyle for your health, for the planet, and for the animals. We're all gonna end up here one day. So why speed it up for yourself? And why speed it up for the animals? That was a good run. That was a great run. Woo! I feel it! Ah. Ah. <coughs> now, for the well-deserved reward. A raisin smoothie. I am so happy I found the raisin smoothie. No one! I've never seen it online. I have never seen a raisin smoothie online. It's crazy. And it is time for dinner. A massive, massive, massive bowl of mashed potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes. So the food is over. And uh, I'm feeling in one of those moods where I feel like um, I'm about to come off with something cheesy. <laughs> or should I say something banana-y? <laughs> Vegan power. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I'm 22 years old and, uh, you know, the longer I live on this earth, the, the, more I th the more I recognize how important it is to surround yourself with people who, who get you, um, surround yourself with people who, uh, you, you know, you're fond, you're fond of the vibe that they give off and, um, you know, especially, especially if you, especially if you live with them, um, uh, because, you know, your vibe attracts your tribe, you know, and, uh, you want to be comfortable around the people you live with, and, uh, if you can't change the situation you're in, then maybe you just have to change your mindset about the person or thing, but, um, Yeah, enjoy your life, guys. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Like it's like, it's like I was saying earlier. Whenever I was running in the cemetery, we're all gonna end up there eventually. So enjoy it all. Look back at your pictures. Look back at the look back at the pictures, uh, that you that you've had on your phone that you haven't looked at in a while. Look back at the picture you've had, um, on your laptop that you haven't looked at in a while. Look back, just look back on life in general. Look back on life in general. Enjoy the good. It's coming up to 8 o'clock. Gonna be heading to bed soon. <laughs> and as always, this is Clinton. Peace, love, veganism. Wishing you all peace, love, and veganism. Mm. Have a great day.